in this example, we want to look at the usage of CPI local variable. Uh, we will use this example. CPI airflow each time run, you will get top 100 record from Northfin orders. Uh, like this one. For example, like this one, orders, we filter by order IDs, and order ID greater than zero. Later, I will explain why we use this, and we order by order ID, ascending. Here, this default will return to twenty only, but in the old data call adapter one we specify the top equal to 100 we will get 100 record back the idea is we want to store the last order id that already processed let's say each page is a hundred record and we process this record and for example we click it to somewhere or store it in data store then and before the next call we want to store the last ID this uh, let's say 10447 then in the next call we will use the order ID to query again resume from this ID on wood so for example 10447 the next one is 10448 in this example we are not using the old data next link in actual case if it's uh, old data we should use this but for now we want to explore the uses of local variable so we temporarily ass let's assume this API don't have this old data next link and we have to rely on the content of the payload only okay this is what we want to achieve now let's back to briefly back to here we will store the Northwind order ID in local variable and the next call we take back the last process order ID and resume the call like what we saw just now resume it from here if no more call then uh, you won't get any more data because uh, there's no more new orders in the old data this is the old data URL this is some of the code that uh, can use for copy paste in CPI iFlow building now Okay, now go to the CPI and now we want to build using the local driver. As a first step, it's uh, better we just build the old data core first. Okay, so we build the Odata call in this example use the uh, Odata version 4 the address no authentication this one I just uncheck then processing query resource path and choosing the orders 
for now, I only interested the order ID and customer ID. And without any top or skip first and finish. Later we uh, we do the first call first. So the address I use it same like the the, the name here, the iFlow name here. Okay, from the iFlow run, Postman run. Since we not specify any uh, top or filtering, all the order record is returning back, and we can see that uh, total is eight hundred thirty record, and next we are going to do the top with 100 okay top is 100 and then go to step 3 we want to filter by order ID greater than greater than a property this property uh, just give me a name okay order ID greater than uh, a, a property this one this property uh, we should define it before the call so we define it here okay the property like this the source type is get from local arrival and the source value is we want to get from a local driver with the name like this exactly the same name if we want to put different name also we are good uh, uh, for simple reason using the same name and the default value is if there is no local driver exit then it will take a default value i use zero here because uh, because we know that greater than zero uh, it will take all or or I if I know this in advance I can also use this greater than ten thousand ten thousand right ten thousand yeah it will work also okay let let's let's use this um to show the concept Okay, now the driver is in here in the monitoring the eyes icon driver now it's empty don't have any driver at all so deploy
Okay, I run it. Okay, so, so you can see this one zero two four eight until one zero three four seven hundred record two four eight until three four seven hundred record and here that still there's no forever because we are not writing to it yet we just try to take from local forever This is the latest one. Ignore the others where I do testing earlier. So we try to get the local driver. See, we not found. So we take from this. Uh, Ten thousand. Then we we'll make call. If the filter order ID greater than ten thousand and we get 100 record back so now the 100 record we want to store the this number in local forever let's see how to do that okay then Since we want to get this the last order ID, we either can use the script, Google script, to read the XML and until the last record, then take this value, or we can use XPath. I did some Google checking and and found this syntax we are able to take the last orders and then take the order id so i'm going to do that to set this value set this property using value from xpath the xpath is last order id last orders with the field order id and the type is just string okay last order id deploy we just take this value first uh, to step by step verify is it getting what we want okay call again Last order ID, yes, this is what the value 
we want to get so we already store it in property next we want to write it to local driver and we will use this persistent uh, group this one write driver I reserve some space because later I want to add some condition processing and we add to the same property like this one and the value will take from this property Here we don't take this global scope because in this example we want to use local scope or local variable only. Local variable means the driver can only be used by the iFlow that create it. Mean this iFlow because this iFlow create or, or write the driver so only this iflow can read it back again that's the mean, meaning of a local driver okay then write it so let's deploy Okay, here there is no driver so now we are going to run it okay and let's see the trace I think I somehow didn't set the trace successfully. But never mind. Let's see refresh here. Okay, now you see the driver is already created. If you click on the here, this is a content one zero three four seven. So this is the value. And the time here is 22 hour 0 05 minute okay if we run again let me okay if you run again you see this one re resume from 10348 and if I refresh again and the value change to 10447 this is a uh, this one the next one you know so you go through this again and write the driver again so again uh, if I run it again 
one zero four four seven. The last one will be one zero five four seven. And again, it right to here. One zero five four seven. Um. Yep. So this is a usage of local driver. If you survive across uh, different iFlow run, let's say you want to persist store the some setting, the last order ID or last modified date, last process date, you can use this uh, driver concept. And by default here, you say retain retain until this is a uh, next year one year plus uh, after one year plus i think this record will be no longer here but if you keep on maintaining with the new value again uh, the retain until date will be always one year plus later means going to be some keep on in the future date so you are safe because uh, an iflow that is run it should it should not be an iflow interface not running for one year that long I mean, it's very unusual yeah okay then next i want to show you is that's how we saw that you have 830 record if I keep running a few more time until the eight or nine time, okay, almost the end. Then I think one more. Uh, if I if I search this, you see it's 30 record already. This is the last page already. If I run again, then there is a no no more record because there is no more ID after the uh, last ID. But after here run, the value become empty already. This is wrong because the local driver, what we want to do is always keep on uh, maintain the last process order ID only. But now it become empty because after uh, after the last call we don't get any more data then this one we get nothing we get empty then we store empty to the driver and this is wrong and if we run again uh, we will hit the error because uh, the query the query cannot header value not found for parameter zero this all data not found uh, okay, not not found this one empty so to, to avoid that, we should do a checking uh, using router to check the last process ID, whether it's blank or not blank, or is it have value. So if it has value, then only write it so we are using 
non XML, the expression is this one, not empty. If last order ID not empty, we write it to wherever, else we end it. Okay, this one have to be default. Okay. Okay, if we run again, you will still error because uh, here still empty. So this one it cannot be used anymore. And in UI, CPI UI, there is no tools that uh, can directly edit the value from here. So we, we cannot like, uh, at least I not found a way to manually edit it here. But always have to use the CPI to, to write it. So, uh, just for your information. So this one, I delete it. So now it back to the original state where no local forever. Okay, then when I run again, so it start from the first again. Order ID more than ten thousand, so we get the first record, first hundred record. Good. So it's a first, second, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the last last space already and the value here is the last value one one zero seven seven one one zero seven seven So I run again and no more record. Now this time the value here still is the last one. moment why is there not in trace mode
Okay, face mode. So it will go to the empty. So it won't write forever. So yeah, so it can preserve the order ID, last process order ID here. And assuming few hour later, let's say with this one schedule and every six hour, uh, six hour later there's more order created then it will resume from this ID and and take more record and process yep so this is the local driver you can see here for local driver the visibility it will show integration flow and the iflow name Yep, okay, we achieve what we want to do here already. I will stop here. Thank you.